Hello, book folding friends. Elizabeth Gale here. Welcome in and thank you for joining me. Our pattern of the month for June is the word dad. This is the book that I folded from the pattern. Your book will be a beautiful gift of love that your dad will cherish for years to come. You can make it for his birthday, Father's Day, or really any day that you want to say, I love you, Dad. Let's take a look at the pattern. I'll put a link in the description to my shop online where you can get the Dad pattern. It comes as a digital file in PDF format. You download it to your computer, then after you download it, you print it out. So I've got the pattern printed out here. And when you order the Dad pattern, you'll also receive a free PDF file of my ebook. It's called Traditional Book Folding, a step-by-step -step illustrated guide. And if you're a beginner, this how-to guide is perfect for you. It's 68 pages long, and it has lots of clear photos in it that you can follow. You'll learn everything you need to know about traditional book folding from start to finish, like the proper tools, how to select a book, how to calculate your start page, and a lot more. With my simple method, you'll soon be making beautiful book art even if you've never before folded a book. The guide also has three patterns in it for you to fold. There's a cute rabbit, a fun ice skate, and a sweet petite heart. To go straight to the patterns, you'll open the PDF of the guide after you download it, and then you'll scroll down to page 55. That's where the patterns begin. And remember, you get the how-to guide with the three bonus patterns in it completely for free along with your order of the dad pattern. So let's look back at that. And this cover page gives you specific information about the project. If you look right here, you'll see that the method we'll be using is the traditional measure, mark, and fold method. There is no cutting required for this pattern, only folding. Next, you'll see the number of folds is 154, which is 308 numbered pages. And as a quick refresher, remember that in book folding, a fold with a capital F is a single sheet of paper in a book. It's a single sheet that is numbered on both sides. For example, if we look back at our sample book here, we've got a page in a book, and this single sheet of paper in book folding is a fold. And of course, it's numbered on both sides. So one fold equals two numbered pages because each fold or sheet of paper is numbered on both sides. So if we look back at our pattern, you can see that's why this number is doubled here. 154 folds or sheets of paper equals 308 numbered pages. So the pattern is telling us we need to find a book that has at least 308 numbered pages in it so that the dad pattern will fit into that book. If we look at the next line, you'll see the height of the book you'll need is at least 22 centimeters. And when I say 22 centimeters, I'm talking about the cover of the book, not the pages inside. The pages inside of a book are always shorter than its covers. You can use a book that is taller than 22 centimeters. Uh, for example, this book that I folded is about, mm, it's a little over 24 centimeters. So if your book is over 22 centimeters tall, that's fine. The dad design will still look good. Let's go to the next page of the pattern. You can see that it is the typical table of measurements that we'll be working through where each line of the pattern equals one page in your book. If we look at fold number one, you see it's got a first measurement of 13.9 centimeters and a second measurement of 14.8 centimeters. And then the pattern just continues all the way up through fold number 154. And it has measurements of 13.8 and 14.8 centimeters. Let's go back to the first page. And let's do these first five folds together. We'll measure, mark, and fold them, and that will get you off to a good start so you'll be able to see how the capital D begins. I've got my book here ready to go along with the pattern, 
And I like to wrap a piece of elastic around the pages that I'm not folding. It acts as a third hand to hold them down and just keeps them out of the way. For measuring and marking, I'm going to use my Incra Precision T-Rule ruler. I've used this ruler for years for book folding and I just love it. The best thing about it is this red T-bar at the top. And what that does, it puts the zero at the same point at the top of every page that you're marking. And so that makes your folds look nice and straight and professional. They turn out really good. So I'll put a link to this ruler in the description and you can click on that if you're interested in it. For fold number one, we have measurements of 13.9 and 14.8 centimeters. So let's mark those. And this Incra ruler has slots in it that go up and down the ruler so I can see the paper right through those slots and my pencil just drops right in. So let's mark 13.9, 14.8. I like to check those off so I know I've completed those. And you can see the marks there on the edge of the page. Tuck that under. And for fold number two, we've got measurements of 5.9 and 6.9. Let's mark that. And for fold number three, measurements of 13.9 and 14.8 again and sometimes the measurements will repeat in the pattern that is not a typo that just helps build up the design so we're going to repeat the measurements of 13.9 and 14.8 Check. And for fold number four, measurements of 5.9 and 6.9. One more, fold number five, measurements of 13.8 and 14.8 centimeters. And we have finished marking folds one through five, so now let's go back and fold those. For folding, I like to use this thin metal ruler made by Westcott. It's nice and flexible and it's got cork on the back so it doesn't slip. So let's go ahead and do fold number one. I put this edge of the ruler against the spine and then the opposite edge on that first mark of fold one, which was 13.9. And I like to use a bone folder to get a nice crease on the fold. And the second measurement, 14.8. Tuck that under. And fold number two, measurements of 5.9 and 6.9. Well, that's crossing the spine just a little bit. I'm going to dog ear that back. And 
fold number three, measurements of 13.9 and 14.8. number four, measurements of 5.9 and 6.9 again. Also crossing the spine a little. I'll fold that one back also. And if you'd like to use a different folding method instead of putting the ruler against the spine, like say you like to use the 90 degree method or some other folding method, that is perfectly fine. Uh, there's really no right or wrong way to book fold. It's just a matter of personal preference and this folding method works best for me. So that's why I like to do the ruler against the spine method, but you use whichever method you prefer. And we're on that last fold we marked, fold number five, measurements of 13.8 and 14.8. Okay, we have completed folds one through five, which are the beginning of that capital D right here. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I've just marked and folded. It's the serifs right at the beginning of that capital D. So you'll just continue working on through the pattern. And you'll go all the way up to that last fold which will be fold 154 right there with measurements of 13.8 and 14.8 centimeters. It's that last little fold right here on the lowercase d right there. That last little one will be your final fold and then you'll have your completed dad design. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll pick up this pattern and fold it for your dad. He will love your book and he'll probably wonder how in the world you created it. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and give it a like. I really appreciate that. It helps me out. If you're brand new to book folding, I've made a video just for you here on my channel that teaches you all the steps from start to finish. You'll learn about the tools you need, how to pick out a book, how to calculate your start page, everything you need to know. And I'll put a link to that video right here on the screen at the end of this one. You can click on that and watch it next. God bless you, and thanks for watching.